Actually, you know what? I probably do need it all. I think I'm going to cook all of it. Secret ingredient, pizza sauce. Makes a big difference. It up a bit, you, know? you don't have to do the garlic if you don't want, but I find that it gives it a little bit more oomph. So we might need two of them to get any flavor in. There we go. That's gonna do it. All right. Okay. Now we have the best to our zucchinis. Once that's partially cooked, we'll put our onion and uh, garlic in. Alright. The zucchinis you can make them fairly thick if you like. You don't want them to turn to mush because uh, they tend to do that if they get overcooked. This one's a lot yellow. Very yellow compared to this one. Look at that. Hmm. Must be older. Every zucchini is different. Last thing you want to do is make this and not have any flavor, right? Yeah, I just do what I 
give us about a uh, tablespoon. No, oh, sorry, need this guy here. And that should do it. Okay, what do we got going on over here? Let's test those guys and see what they do. <laughs> Okay, so that consists of a cup of milk and uh, the pizza sauce, and that's basically it. I told you it was easy to make this, and you didn't believe me. Okay, let's open her up. it up or you can just check it in you know through what uh, whatever you like I'm gonna mix it up now we need some milk Last of all, some Tex-Mex cheese. That's going to go in there as well. Okay, so we need... You can basically tell by the color of it what it looks like. That's the color that I want right there. So it's about... I guess it was like about a half a cup of milk along with the pizza sauce. It's a small thing. See, everything's going to be cooked by the time we put it in here into this, so it's not like it has to be, um, it doesn't have to be a lot of fluid, because it's not going to be, it's not going to be cooking in it, it's just going to be soaking up the flavor. I suppose I should make sure we get everything out of here that we need. One way of doing that, I'll put some milk in here. Hmm. Give it a little stir around. The last of the pizza sauce. Now, pizza sauce is uh, better than, you know, tomato sauce because it's got a lot more flavor. starting to get a little softer. Still pretty hard though. Okay, you know what I think I'm going to do with this? I'm going to drain some of this out. There's a little too much fluid in here. Make sure everything's finally chopped down. need some pepper. Pepper is super important. Mm. And you know what? 
once we drain that, we go for the way we're going to put a bit more of the fine herbs in. And once again, that's basically basil and oregano. Now, if it seems like there's not enough, we can always add a bit more milk. Because remember, I scrimped on the milk to begin with. There we go. That's going to be perfect. That's exactly what we want. And we're also going to add cheese to that, too, so it gives it even more flavor. Oh, we'll do that after. Let's put our zucchinis in. And we're on our way. Now, let this come to a boil. me a weirdo. Maybe a little bit. Probably another five minutes, and I'll take that, put it in here, and pour this on top with some of the cheese, and that'll be it. Um, I think I'll pause for now, and then I'll show you how it looks when we put it all together. Okay, so we are back. Now, I've overcooked the potatoes. I think I killed my potatoes, but that's all right. Um, the zucchini will more than make up for it. Okay, so let's drain that. Sort of gone all mashy, but that's all right. It'll still be good. Okay. Now we're just going to dump the other stuff right on top of it, and everything goes in the oven. And there you have it. Voila. And chuck it in for about 45 minutes at uh, 450. And it should be nice and crispy on top and very delicious. There you go. Hope that helps. Bon appetit.